that in these woo thoughts lately? Like, is any of this for real or not? one, didn't you? How cool, friend. If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. All right, all right, testing, testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's going on, people? What's up? What's up? What's happening, y'all? How y'all doing? Can y'all see me? Can y'all hear me? Test, test, mic check. Uh, okay, all righty. So we are definitely streaming right now. I see it coming up on the channel. All right, comments are popping up. All right, okay, okay. Uh, let's see who we got in the chat tonight. Oh, we got the homie J Fam first for a stream i don't know if i'll attend still hashtag notification gang gang i appreciate you my guy thank you so much oh snap we got rhino in the building what's up kingpin how you doing oh we got Coles in the chat come guardian yes sir absolutely absolutely shout out to the kingdom hearts quota bowls y'all know how it is uh we got battlefield joe in the chat what's going on guzman how you doing let me i don't know let me bring this chair up i don't know why i always sit so low to the ground hold on there we go. That's much better. Um, we got DC Gaming in the chat. Imagine posting the stream link and you aren't even up yet. Would expect nothing less from a mayo lover. Uh, it's called a pre-stream DC Gaming. You would know about that if you had a certain level of intelligence. But listen, I, 
I digress. You know, they always say do one good deed a day. You know what I'm saying? Be a good Samaritan and explain things for the common folk. And I, that's, I guess what I'm, that's what I'm doing for DC Gamer right now, man. You got to you gotta let me know. <laughs> but what's up, DC? How you doing, man? Uh, we got Reed94. What's up? Uh, we got Corey Gryffindor just clocked out of work. Yes, sir. Corey Gryffindor is just like, oh, buddy, I can't wait for this. Alrighty, we got Omar Gomez in the chat. What's up? He just says Neo in all caps. Yes, sir. That that is I. I'm, I'm most certainly Neo. I, I'm I'm that dude. Uh, we got Matt C. What's going on, Matt? How you doing, bro? Oh, uh, we got John John the Don, my guy. What's going on, my brother? How are you? Uh, ready to relax with this stream after a productive leg day? Ooh, that's what I like to hear, man. You had a nice leg day. That's a great feeling in the world, bro. The, one of the best feelings in the world is when you just have a productive workout and you just got nothing else to do for the evening man that's why mondays are my favorite days because i don't really got shit to do in the evening because i run all my errands you know i don't gotta work uh the next morning so for me monday nights are just so chill man it's like after i get home from the gym i'm just playing games or i'm working on stuff for the channel or you know just just it's that me time bro i'm in the movie theaters i'm getting sushi speaking of sushi man i gotta i haven't been i haven't gone to get sushi in a couple weeks bro so i gotta fix that i fixed that i'll probably go Ooh, uh, I don't. I'm not gonna have time next week, so I'll, I'll go the week after. But I'm. I, I gotta get me some sushi, bro. Uh, let's see. Looking forward to hanging with y'all for a bit after a shit day. Hey, man, listen. It be like that, bro. Sometimes all you need to do is just hang with your boys, watch this dude Neo get owned on stream. Listen, it's it's, it's the little things in life that can bring us joy. But uh, ho hopefully the stream makes you feel a little bit better, my friend, or at least a little less shittier about your day. <laughs> seeing me struggle in anguish. Uh, it's doing all right. It's the Kingdom Hearts 3 5th anniversary in Japan time right now. Yeah, dude, that's fucking crazy. It's absolutely surreal to consider that it's been five years since Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, that's just so odd to me. Because I remember I waited damn near 15 years of my entire existence waiting for this game. And now we are a third of the time removed from that. And within, like, what, the next two years or so, we can probably expect Kingdom Hearts 4? It's crazy, guys. I just... It hasn't sunk in, and I think that's probably because Kingdom Hearts 3 was not one of the more memorable games to me. Like, if this game had come out and it had, like, the impact of Kingdom Hearts 2, the story was on point, the gameplay was on point, like, everything was just perfect, I would be just so, like, I'd be so shocked. But now it's just like, wow, it's really been five years? Holy shit. Because it's been out of my mind since then. Um... Let's see. Uh, Neo, you ever been to a sushi castle? It's a buffet sushi place. Yeah, yeah. We have uh, we have two of those in my area. We have two all-you-can-eat sushi places that are all fresh, made-to-order sushi. So it's not like sushi that's been sitting out there for a while. They literally take your order and they make it. And it's it's pretty appropriately priced, too. Like 30 35 bucks depending. And you know how expensive sushi is in general. Sushi, I don't know about you guys, but sushi is the one appetizer that when i go out to eat i will never order because it's so expensive and for what you get you're not getting much of anything so for me it's one of those situations where if i'm getting sushi i'm getting all you can eat man and i'll just save like appetizers for something else like i will never order sushi for an appetizer i can't do that bro because i'll still be hungry like ridiculously hungry at least when i get a nice appetizer whether it's some wings or some chips and dip or you know some calamari or something I'm feeling pretty good about myself, you know, or some clams. But when I get sushi, I'm just like, I'm still hungry, bro. I'm still hungry. I guess that's the point. Uh, Corey says, I think you should be level 99 in an hour. Then you should be ready for the data battles. Yeah, that's the thing, Corey. So obviously, we're going to get to level 99 pretty quick because we're at 70. Um, but then I got to wonder if I should go for the Ultima Keyblade. Because you guys said in order to get the Ultima Weapon... I have to get all the lucky emblems, and I have most of them. So if it's a case of tracking them down, that'll that'll just be tedious work, but it could be doable. could be doable tonight. Um, <laughs> Corey says, where's Don Otaku? I'm ready for a round two roast. Oh, Don Otaku, he's, he's recovering from that beatdown, bro. He, he just, he's applying all the ointment and the, and, the, and the bandages. He's looking like Ethan out of Resident Evil Village. Like, he, he he's uh, taking a sabbatical. You know, he that that was that was a legendary beatdown, Corey. I've just been laughing about that shit all day, bro. This man basically said, "Mon is short for monster, you ignoramus, <laughs> you imbecile." Yo, if y'all weren't in the in the, uh, I was gonna say Ask Neo. Well, it kind of turned into Ask Neo by the end. But if y'all weren't in the chat last night, it was, shit was funny as fuck. Just go watch last night's live stream. It was like the last thirty minutes. Everybody just went in on Don Otaku. It was it was it was beautiful. Uh, what's up, Deuce? How you doing, bro? 
Kingdom Hearts 2 20th anniversary is December of next year. Dude. That... <laughs> Dude, that I think is really going to shock me. Because the 20 year anniversary for Kingdom Hearts 1, that hit me. But you're telling me 20 years for Kingdom Hearts 2? That's when I'm starting to feel old. That's when I'm really starting to fucking feel old. <laughs> 20 years of Kingdom Hearts 2? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Rex says, Neo, who's your favorite Kingdom Hearts character? Uh, it's a tie between Roxas and Riku. I go back and forth with them. Definitely Roxas or Riku. I love Riku's story. And I love Roxas' story for the opposite reason why I love Riku's story. I love Riku's story because it's a story of redemption. And then I love um, Roxas' story because it's just so fucking tragic. But yeah, those two. And then probably Axel for the third character. Yeah. Sora, I mean, I like Sora, but Sora is just very... He's like one-dimensional. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you need a character like that to be the anchor. But I feel like you could you could, you could, could have done a lot more with the Sora character than just be him being optimistic about everything. Like, if they just gave Sora a little bit more complexity to him, and I'd be like, oh, yes, perfect. But, yeah, no. Nah. Definitely Roxas or Riku. Characters with the hard R, yes, sir. Definitely not Kyrie. Oh, absolutely not Kyrie. Fuck Kyrie, bro. Fuck Kyrie, man. I, I just, there is no redeeming, nothing redeeming for Kyrie. Bold words for someone who has ordered sushi as an appetizer. When did we order sushi as an appetizer? When? When? When did we do that, bro? We went to an all-you-can-eat sushi spot. That's not getting it as an appetizer. Unless you're talking about another time we got sushi as an appetizer? Oh, that was when we um when we got hibachi, right? I think that was when we got hibachi. But I think we both looked at it and so we were just like, yeah, it's all right, you know? Yeah, I, I I remembered that. I remember that. But I was but you know what it is? That's what that that is what came to my mind like why would i do that why would i order sushi as an appetizer you know what it was jason because we i was just trying to relive the glory days <laughs> i was trying to relive the all you can eat sushi days he can't handle the burn he's using rare candies oh bars cory gryffindor i love it i love it now the uh, luckily emblems is to unlock oath keeper ultima requires a lot more oh does it oh fuck well you guys will look at my loadout and I'm actually kind of mad because I said, look at my loadout and spec me last week. And none of you guys specced me. You, you just look at that and you're just like, go forth, nigga. I'm like, ah, ah, well, can I get some help? <laughs> it's the 20th anniversary of Chain of Memories this year. Uh, congratulations, I guess, to those uh, who are a fan of Chain of Memories. It took me so long to beat that damn game. Oh, Roxas 180 with a 199 super chat. Hopefully, no save data boss battles this time. <laughs> no, 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 no issues, no issues. We gonna dive straight into this. Uh oh. That was the first boss. I've seen Neo eat two apps and two meals and a dessert. Nah, no, that's facts, bro. Me and Rhino, we went, we went, we went out to the city. It was me, Rhino, his cousin Havoc, and then our friend uh, John, and we killed all this food at this one spot. And then immediately afterwards, I think we went and we got drinks somewhere else. And then I was just like, man, I could go for some fucking dessert. And they were just like, nigga, we just ate. And I was like, so? So what, man? I'm hungry. I still want food. Hey, man. But nah, like, that's nothing, though. That's nothing. Like, you guys need to see me. Like, I mean, if you follow me on IG, Instagram, uh, Phantom, Phantom NGS. You see how I be getting down when I go out to eat, man. I think that's hungry. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna eat. If there's something I'm going to do, man, I'm going to eat. Magnolia's Bakery. Yes, sir, bro. Working on platinuming Chain of Memories as I watch this. Also, I just finished the GBA playthrough. Oh, damn. Zero gravity. You live up to your name, my man. You live up to your name. Like, I straight up. That's, that's, that's a real Kingdom Hearts fan right now. I am fraudulent because I... Dude, I still to this day have not beat... Um, the remastered versions of Rechain of Memories. Bro, <laughs> I beat it once on the PS2. I beat the GBA game, and that was it. But when they put that shit on the 1.5 collection, I was like... <laughs> I remember... You know what it was? The, I remember we were streaming it like 10 plus years ago. And then we all collectively agreed after two hours. We were like, nope. That's it. <laughs> we're done. I'm going to finish Halo this weekend. Yo, this man... You guys want to talk about how long it took me to beat Tales of Arise? This man, Rhino, still hasn't beat Halo Infinite. And that game is like 10 hours long. I need y'all to give him the same fucking smoke, bro. Because I'm, I'm just being real about life, man. You know what the crazy thing is? This man, I had to offer to help beat this game with him on co-op. 
Like, this man went from playing it when it came out, not beating the final boss, and co-op dropped in that time frame. And I was just like, do you need me to help you beat this? Do we need to beat it together, bro? And he was just like, no, I got this. And then here we are, still waiting, man. Good luck, Mr. Wayne. I need to continue my Birth by Sleep critical playthrough. I got to do one of those, bro. I still haven't done that. You know, when I when I get a break from all... I think, honestly, after Rebirth, I'm going to take another break from JRPGs for a while. After I finish Rebirth and Persona 3 Reload and, and Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, I'm taking a break from JRPGs. I'm not touching no JRPGs for a while. I'm just going to go and play those 8 to 10 hour games. I'm going to run through and finish the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I need, I just, <laughs> I need a cleanse, bro. Oh, man. Yes, sir. A real fruity. A foodie. Yes, sir. Hope you love the Frozen Sled minigame because you might have to do that a lot to get the ultimate weapon. Oh, God. Uh, what's up, Emperor Ash? Yeah, I, I, I got to fight Ozora, too. This is, this is a fucking crazy ass challenge now that I think about it. We got to fight all those bosses and Ozora. That is going to be. This might take us the whole year now that I think about it. Because <laughs> I'm going to get I'm going to get confident. I'm going to beat a few of the organization members. Then there's going to be ones that drive me nuts. And then it's like, nah, nigga, you ain't fight Ozora yet. I'm like, uh. Nah, Sea of Stars don't count. It's a Western RPG. I mean, the, if there is one thing about Sea of Stars, I think it's only like, what, 30 hours? I could beat a 30-hour game. If you tell me it's like 60, 70, 80, like... Oof, oof, oof. Nah, don't worry about Ultimate Weapon. That's too much of a grind. Yeah, okay, so if any anything, you guys, we're going to um get this show on the road. It's 816 right now. I'm hoping to get us all the way up to level 99 with this stream. And then depending on the time that we have, we'll probably see if we can properly spec Sora or at least prep, like get everything, like all items and, and accessories, bangles and all that stuff, get all that stuff together so we can, um, what's it called? We can do, uh, I think, what was the first boss we were going to do, Corey? Was it Larxene? I think it was Larxene, you said? Because Corey, he had a list of... Uh, hey, take it easy, Rhino. Good luck building that crib. Um, Corey had like a list of like the bosses from like the easiest to the hardest. And I'm just like, yeah, let's do that. Hydration with vodka tonight. Yo, I got some vodka. I still got my two bottles of vodka. Neo, what's your favorite world in Kingdom Hearts 3? Uh, favorite world? Shit, man. I mean, I liked San Francisco. Um, I like the idea and the level of detail that went into the Tangled world, but I just wish the story was handled better. But, you know, that was out of the developer's hands. Um, shout out Birth by Sleep, go to game. Um, I like, I like the Pirates of the Caribbean world because of the art style. It's, it's honestly, the Pirates of the Caribbean world is the best looking world in Kingdom Hearts 3. Like that world looks fucking out of this world. It's out of control, man. It was, it was so crazy how good that world looked. Um, Oh, oh, God, hopefully it doesn't do the same thing as before where it loads one of those, like, not save files, the auto saves. Nah, okay. Hashtag like father, like son. Hashtag weather. Hashtag Zeus. Hashtag Hercules. Hashtag Olympus. Jesus. Xenoblade games are a grind. Ah, uh, depending. Not necessarily Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I don't really have to grind in that one. Everyone is in agreement that Caribbean is the best world? Okay. Or the, the Caribbean. Okay, so, like I said, we were at level 71. So, we're just going to go back to that place. And we're going to go... How, how's, how's the leveling sound, you guys? Because I went back and I watched the last stream, and the game audio was way too loud. How's this one? Is it much better? I think I'm going the wrong way. Does this one sound much better, you guys? Yeah, yeah exactly wrong way. I have to go towards the light. Go towards the light. Yeah, let me... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, listen on the playback real quick. How this thing sounds. Because I love y'all. But at the same time, sometimes I don't trust you guys. Yeah, because I want I want the game audio to be in the background, but not too crazy, you know? Hey, PS Rewind and UK Night came in at the exact same time. Hey, what were you guys doing? What the heck were you guys doing? You both came in here at the same time. Mm-hmm. When are you gonna when are we gonna get another unboxing video? 
Uh, when I buy something worthy of unboxings. Um, I don't know. I've, I mean, I've just been buying a lot of 4K Blu-rays. You guys know this. 4K Blu-rays. That's my jam. I haven't really bought any uh, physical collector's editions just because I don't really have the space to display all those. So I've just been buying the... Uh, if it comes to the Steelbook, I buy those versions. You know, like Final Fantasy 16. I bought the Steelbook one. I don't buy the, the crazy, like, statues. You know what I'm saying? What 4K Blu-rays you buy recently? Uh, recently? Ugh. Over well, the last couple of months off the top of my head, I bought Oppenheimer. I bought if you follow me on Twitter, you've seen everything. I bought Oppenheimer, the James Bond 4K set with all the movies for Daniel Craig. Um, I bought Avatar The Way of Water, Steelbook. I got uh Iron Man 1 on 4K. Uh The Lion King, of course, the original on 4K. You getting the steelbook for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth? Oh, absolutely. You know it's my brother. You know this. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get this situated. No. Oh. All right. So excuse me if I die once. Just trying to remember the controls from last week. Worst world in Kingdom Hearts? Ooh. I mean, there's tedious worlds off the top of my head. Uh, Why did I do water? No. Like, I'd have to really sit down and remember. I mean, I don't really like Atlantica that much. Atlantica is really annoying. Um, uh, Deep Jungle, I enjoyed, but at the same time, the the platforming was god awful. Um, what else? Anything that involved really bad platforming, I couldn't stand. Like, I know I joke about um, Agrabah a lot, but <laughs> I just hate it because it was so overused. But there are worse worlds in Agrabah. Yeah, we're talking Kingdom Hearts in general. Wonderland? I didn't mind Wonderland. I mean, yeah, Wonderland, if you didn't... How do I say this? Like, the whole... Wonderland was an MP drain. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, in order to get all the shit in that thing, bro. Oh, my God. That shit was irritating. Wait, let me... Fuck, let me use the water gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boogie's Tower in Kingdom Hearts 1 sucks. Yeah, yeah, again, things that involve, like, platforming were irritating to me. And, I mean, that's a lot of Kingdom Hearts 1's worlds. Kingdom Hearts 2, I have less complaints with the worlds in there. They're much better by comparison. Kingdom Hearts 3, obviously, like, I love... The attention to detail for some, like, Frozen and Tangled, but there, it just wasn't that... They were just so gimped and nerfed because of licensing, you know? They're like, it has to look a certain way. You can't divert. They, it, it has to be, if we have someone's daughter and they love Frozen, it has to be exactly like this. No deviation. So they had no creativity or, or freedom of expression. I like the Toy Story world a lot. Where is this other enemy? Where the fuck is it? Am I tweaking? Where is this other enemy? Hey, what's going on, Retro Lad? Guys, where the fuck is this enemy? It's gotta be like in the air or something. Kingdom One the Kingdom Hearts 1's platform has a learning curve to it. Oh, it's it's got a lot of problems. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a learning curve, it's just Where's this enemy? Bro, am I tweaking you guys? Did the game glitch? I think it might have glitched. Hey, take it easy, Retro Lad. Did your Best Buy stop selling physical media? Uh, yeah, more. I haven't checked since they... 
announced they were getting rid of everything, but it's... It's, uh... Oh, there it is. It just appeared. What the fuck? I'm gonna just do all this on this guy. I don't need to do this, but fuck it. Is that overkill? Maybe. Okay, what now what is going on? Bro, what the fuck is going on? What? Guys, I think we glitched the game. I think we somehow glitched the game, guys. I'm locking on, guys. I've been I've been locking on. I know you can't hear it, but this is crazy. We really glitched. We really, we were this. We starting out on a good note. Like I said, it's not a Neo game stream if there's not a problem with us breaking the game. Oh my god. Pause for technical difficulties. Oh, we have Silver Wolf coming in with the ten dollars super chat. Yo, what's up, Neo? Just wanted to drop in and say one more month till Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Also, good luck in the data battle challenge. That final boss was fun, but a pain. LOL. Oh, he put the LOL on the end, so that's how you know it's serious. Uh, I appreciate you, Silver Wolf. Thank you, and yes, Mood. I cannot wait till fucking Rebirth, bro. I have not been this excited for a video game since Persona Five, man. And that's so crazy because I was kind of like apathetic about the first remake. I was like, yeah, we'll see what it's hitting for, and I was like, oh, this shit is great. But thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we're doing all the data all the data battle bosses. If I could, where the fuck are the rest of the enemies, bro? We glitched the game. You see what happens, you guys? <laughs> we fucked. This is our first boss. We're fighting. We're fighting. Um, uh, Sue Store, man, the Invisible Woman. It's an invisible trap. Do you think the feedback the fans? Gave with the Disney worlds and lack of Final Fantasy characters for KH3 will help them avoid the problems? I sure hope so. That's all I can really wish, man. Because there was, like, no proper Final Fantasy representation in KH3. And I get it. They're trying to lean towards th them doing their own thing. And, of course, the Disney draw is much bigger for them by comparison to just uh, Final Fantasy characters. But, come on, man. That's how it was birthed. Bro, this is some fucked up shit. Come on. I'll try the triangle thing. We'll see. Oh, great. Yeah. This is useless. Bro, we're fucked. We gotta... I think we just gotta, like... I think we gotta, like, restart the game, guys. I think we fucked it. <laughs> I think we fucked it. <laughs> Alright, let's restart the game. Fuck. Uh, okay, well, that's our first technical difficulty, and it wasn't my fault. It was not my fault, might I say. If Nomura can't add new Final Fantasy characters, that's fine. My problem was him just erasing the Restoration Committee. Yeah, that, and you know what the crazy thing is? This man is still working on Final Fantasy games, so maybe he's tired of them, Corey. Maybe he's just like, I'm already fucking dealing with them enough. <sighs> you know what? I will say this, though. I think that they need to add more... They need to add more original side characters, like ones that Sora can interact with, like original side NPCs. Because every time we get a lot of new characters, they're either villains or they're like in the past. You know what I'm saying? And they never really interacted with Sora like that. Do you collect anime Blu-rays? Uh, yeah, I still buy anime Blu-rays. I mean... Haven't been buying a lot. Well, I mean, I bought a lot of like, I've been buying a lot of discotech stuff. Hashtag all for one. Hashtag one for all. Oh, Jesus. All right, All Might. All right, Deku. Izuku Midoriya. Yeah, I mean, like the last anime 4K I bought was uh, Dragon Ball Z Super on uh, 4K. Uh, and then I bought a bunch of, um, like, I love collecting discotech. Because discotech is like, in my opinion, the best anime publisher right now. I bought basically every single Detective Conan case closed movie that they put out. <laughs> well, this is John Wick. This is John Wick Chapter 4. But uh, all of them right here I collected. Because I was just like, listen, I'm a case closed fiend. I don't give a fuck, bruh. And uh, they're putting out the Berserk movie. Well, not the movie, but the series from 97. They're putting out the Digimon movie on Blu-ray. Like, they have all the Lupin stuff. There's so much, man. 
All right, let's try this again, you guys. Here we go. But yeah, I'm I like I like I keep saying to you guys, I'm infinitely more excited for um, Kingdom Hearts four than three, just because you know it's a new era, you know, new era. There's no ties to this old saga, so there's no excuses. Like you, you can do a lot of shit, man. No real crazy expectations now. You can do a lot of stuff. Now that's the question, though. Do you guys think Kingdom Hearts? Uh, you think that Kingdom Hearts Four is going to be a cross-gen game, or do you guys think it's going to be uh, current gen, like PS4, Xbox Series? I mean, I would hate for it to be a cross-gen game. I don't think it is. If it's running on Unreal Engine Five, that shit's got to be next gen or well, current gen. I'd be sick if they're just like, well. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'd be sick. <laughs> They're like, we found a way. Now, you know what I'm waiting for? I want to see how Jedi Survivor is going to run on the PS4 and the Xbox One. I need to see that. I need to see that. The fact that they're bringing that shit out, bro. Which is, that's so dumb to me because this is the stupid part about it. They're bringing that game to the PS4 and the Xbox One. And we haven't heard anything about it. So that shit might be canceled, you know? But the, the thing is, okay, you have two games in the trilogy on the PS4 and the Xbox One. Fuck, I fucked that up. I'm so used to just pressing triangle. Oh, my God. Um, you have so many... Like, you already have... Okay, you'll have the first two games on the system, but the third one's going to be Unreal Engine 5. So what are we really doing here? That's not going to be on the old systems. Oh, my God. Well, so, yeah, Unreal Engine 5 definitely needs to be optimized better in terms of uh, the games that are coming out. I mean, we're seeing some good stuff, though. Like, uh... The RoboCop game is running pretty good, but yeah, there is there is a uh, good good amount of games that just don't be running that great. <laughs> I'd be sick if Kingdom Hearts was like the only one that was that was uh, cross gen. Yeah, I think the only, like, what did Square Enix cross, cross gen games they put out? Uh, I mean, not counting the smaller titles, but like Stranger of Paradise. Stranger of Paradise, that was cross gen, right? I mean, that wasn't 100% Square Enix, though. There we go, finally. Oh my god. Donald level up two levels in this shit? Oh, Alan Wake 2 was Unreal Engine 5? I thought that was like a proprietary remedy engine. Yeah, dude, I'm. I want to. I, I. I'm gonna go see the Avon Children in theaters. I never saw it in theaters because they didn't play it in theaters here. Maybe in like one theater, but that was like almost 20 years ago. Yeah, I thought that. Yeah. Yeah, but I heard Alan Wake Two is like gorgeous. Go, level 73. Okay. Yeah, they were supposed to do a Kingdom Hearts uh, animated series at one point. And you know what the funny thing is? If you guys watch that test footage they put out, <laughs> I'm not going front. It was like Kingdom Hearts, but with good dialogue. Kingdom Hearts with really good dialogue. I was like, wow. And I really wish we actually got that, man. Because you know what the thing is? The Kingdom Hearts manga is so goofy, no pun intended. It's so goofy, but it could work. It could work as an anime. You know, done in the style of like Avatar Last Airbender. I can see that shit. Nice blend. When you start getting into uh, the later games, that's when it's just like, okay, now we're serious. There we go. I mean, yeah, but the bad dialogue, it just gets kind of annoying. You know what I'm saying? It just gets kind of annoying and a little cringy because it's like, I know I know what you guys are trying to go for. 
but it could just be done better, you know? <laughs> like, Final Fantasy VII Remake is a good example. You know, it still has got a little bit of, like, a little bit of, a little bit of, like, some cringe in it. Just a little bit. But it's believable. You can play this shit. Kingdom Hearts, though, I just, it's like, all right, bro. How many times are we going to do this? That's all I'm asking, man. Just better writing. And you can still have the convoluted stories. Don't get it twisted, guys. Like, I... Listen, no one else is doing that shit like Nomura. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we got Kojima. We got Yoko Taro. We got uh, Remedy. But, like, Nomura is just out there. It's like, nobody's heartless can have hearts. Like, <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> That's just so fucking stupid. But I love it. Like, it's just like, okay... I don't care, but just let the dialogue be less cringe. Like, how many times are they going to grunt in these games? Oh, what's up, David? I'll say, Kingdom Hearts 2 had the best writing. That that game has had, I'm telling you, Kingdom Hearts 2 is just like a fucking outlier. That and Birth by Sleep. I mean, Birth by Sleep had some, I'd say, had, like, some of the worst acting just because of the people they got for Terra. I mean, you know? I will say this, though. Yo, yo my man, uh, Jesse McCartney, that man has always stayed consistent. That man is, like, one of the MVPs of voice actors for Kingdom Hearts. Like, like for real. He's so good. Yeah, Aqua 2. Because, you know, they, they got, like... They weren't necessarily Hollywood voice actors, you know what I'm saying? But, like... Because, you know, like, with the Kingdom Hearts games, they'll get people like Haley Joel Osment and David Gallagher and Hayden Pantier. Just, like, random celebrities where they're not, like, crazy big, but at the same time, it's like, wow, this is interesting. You got this person, you know? Like, Billy Zane for... Billy Zane for Ansem is still, like, the best casting they've done. That man clocked in... That man clocked the fuck in and understood the assignment, bro. <laughs> this man, dude, we really had Billy Zane for, and listen, I love Richard Epcar as Ansem. I love his portrayal. But we had Billy fucking Zane as Ansem, and he was just like, what's my motivation? Okay, I got it. Yo, facts. Because Jess McCartney was really popular at the time, but, and he, as far as I know, he loved this shit, bro. He always come back. He don't say no. Him, Sora... Uh, David, uh, like they just, they, the amount of times they've changed Kyrie's and Mamane's voice actress, has Sheon's voice actress remained the same? Wait, hold on, hold on a second, you guys. Do I still have that Kingdom Hearts lo fi shit playing in the background? Oh my god, I still do. <laughs> what the fuck? I still had that playing. <laughs> There's just all types of confusing shit happening right now. <laughs> oh my god. Someone was just like, wow, this is really interesting music. Yeah, Allison Stoner? Okay. Yo, that's a wild name, Allison Stoner. It's like, what's his name on YouTube? Matt Stoney? And that's crazy, because his name, like, his name, you definitely can tell. Like, this nigga, the way he be eating food. Yo. <laughs> the vibe, though. That's right, NKDN. Nah, Ky I feel like Kyrie, Kyrie's got the worst voice now, man. I mean, listen, Kyrie is in general is just, just a terrible character, terrible character. But like, her voice is so annoying, bro. Nominee had a nice voice. Her original voice was it Brittany Snow? That's a that's a perfect name for someone who voiced the character Nominee, Brittany Snow. That's fire, bro. Yo, Matt Stoney is dope, bro. Uh, Matt Stoney, I was on a binge one time a few years ago. I was watching a shit ton of Matt Stoney, Eric the Electric, and I just introduced all the random people in my life to them, and I'm just like, you guys gotta watch this. You think I eat a lot of food? No, you gotta look at this. Remember, I was showing it to one of my coworkers, this old Jamaican guy, and he was just like, he was just, he was just, stunned ain't even a word, you guys. That man was just like, what? He's like, people like this exist? I was like, yeah, bro. I, I always thought of doing like one of those like 10,000 calorie challenges that you see people do online. I feel like it's very doable. 
But I feel like I should have done that when I was like 24, not 30. <laughs> but I have a feeling if I do it now, I'm just going to have to recover. Depending on what I eat. Because I can knock out like 5,000 easily. Yeah, I don't I don't fuck with the Kyrie voice now. It just sounds so ugh. I miss Sora's old voice for Kingdom Hearts 1. It's nostalgic. Yeah. The high pitched voice. What happened to my home? My island. Riku. Kyrie. And then he he had that he yeah, he had that puberty drop. You know, you know you know what was the funniest? When you played Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and then you played Rechain of Memories and Sora's got that deep ass voice. He has a deeper voice than he did in part two. I was dying, bro. I'm like, Sora, it's been a week. You went to puberty like that? It was so funny, you guys. When I heard Sora had that deep ass voice, I'm like, damn, how old is Sora now? I was like, he's 15? Whoa. Nah, yeah, when he voiced Vanitas, he was flexing because he's just like, oh, thank the Lord I can do more than be just the goody two shoes. Yeah, that, that Vanitas voice. Vanitas! I'm not going front. I used to call him, because when I was reading up on the character before I played the game, I was calling him Vanitas, bro. I was like, yo, Vanitas, fire name. And then Xander said Vanitas. I'm like, oh, okay. I see the vision, but I don't like it. I'm getting all these fucking gems. I don't even know what to do with them. Jesus Christ, Sora. You stop fucking flying. Thank you. Just how we, we, we pronounced Luxord, Luxord, and then we found out it's Luke Sword. Yeah! Luke's, Luke's Lux. Yeah, honestly, Haley was kind of stretching to do the Sora voice in this game. They should just let it be at like a deeper, like a deep, like just have it like start at a deeper level. You know, kind of like how um, Miley Flanagan in Naruto, how she has a, a deeper voice than uh, uh, Junko Takeuchi, who voices Naruto in Japanese. So she has a deeper voice by default. So Naruto's part one voice is just fundamentally deeper than the Japanese version. So when Shippuden started, she tried to give him an even deeper voice just to differentiate it. And it sounded so off. That's when I had to switch from uh, watching Naruto in English to just plain Japanese. Because I was like, the, the voice is just, he's just, he just sounds fucking weird, bro. I, I always pronounced it uh, Mar Marluxia. And then when I found it, it was Marluxia. Marluxia? I was like, what the fuck? And then I realized that I don't have a grasp of, of the, the Nomura Dictionary. One thing I think we all got right. That nigga's name was Zexion. I was like, yes, sir. That's his name. His name is fucking Zexion. And then, yo, yo, I, I ain't gonna front. When I was in school, there was this one kid. Like, did you guys ever encounter that one kid in your school who... I mean, obviously, this is a very specific complaint. Like, you had to have been around at the time during this era. But you guys know how back before the internet was really mainstream, where we have it on our phones and, you know, shit like that, where the information wasn't as um, verifiable, if you will? Um, there were people who... You know how, like, for example, there were, like, all the rumors of Pokemon games in the past, how... Oh, there's this hidden Pokemon if you do this thing and this thing. And I heard from someone online who lives in Japan and he did this shit. You, you know how those rumors start? So there was this one dude who went to my school, right? Middle school. Um, and he was that type of person where if he, instead of finding out like other people like the shit that he liked, he had this weird like superiority complex about it. So 
he, when he found out that there were like a couple people in our school who liked Kingdom Hearts, like obviously, like for me, I gravitate towards that shit because I'm just like, oh my god, somebody else likes Kingdom Hearts. Whoa. Um, but this dude, he had this weird superiority complex because I remember he had a, a, a Japanese magazine. I don't know where he got it from. Probably Kino Kaniya. Um, yeah, this Japanese magazine, and I, it had like screenshots of like Kingdom Hearts too, and it was like the really early screenshots. And then I think one of them showed Roxas. And at the time, like we didn't really know what this guy's name was, but I guess like he he saw something on like a forum. Like mind you, this is like 2005, um, and he kept calling this dude Rokus for some reason. Like he took the X out of the equation and he put a K there. He calls him Rokus. And so for like the first couple months, I was looking at this game. I'm like, so this guy's name is Rokus? That's fucking weird. Rokus? Ruckus? Like the fuck? And then I was just like, huh? And then I played the game, and when I found out his name was Roxas, I'm like. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> that means, he called him Roxas. Roxas. Rokus. Like, I was like, the fuck? But, you know, he probably read it as, like, Roke. Like, I, I, it was weird, bro. But I ain't going front. My cousin also had that problem pronouncing shit. Yeah, you guys might remember this. If you watch my old school videos, you might recall this. Um, if you go back on my really old videos, whenever I was talking about Legend of Zelda uh, Ocarina of Time... I was always calling it Ocarina of Time. You know, it's not bad because, you know, people, pronunciation, they call, they call it Ocarina, Ocarina. You know, that's fine. But then if you guys look at my other videos, I would call shit like the Great Dooku Tree when it's spelled the Great Deku Tree. And nobody corrected me for so many years for whatever reason. I guess because everybody was just... Why did I do this? I guess because everybody was just... This is, this is pointless. Ew. That is lame. Um, and no one corrected me for so many years until I looked up the pronunciation of stuff and I was like, oh, it's pronounced Deku Tree. Okay. And then there was also, I, I was pronouncing Hyrule, he rule, And this is all because my cousin was saying all this shit. Now, you know, if you have an older cousin and they're good at video games, you just take their word for it. And what did I know? I was a little kid. And it was just one of those things where I just kept saying it. Deku Tree, Hyrule instead of he rule. And I was just like, wow, everyone else is wrong with how they're pronouncing it. He got a Pono right, though. He got Ganondorf right, though, so there is that. Yeah, like, we definitely needed, like, hooked on phonics in my family. Neo pre-time skip videos. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my God. Oh, man, those days, bro. That's crazy. You guys have literally seen me grow up on this freaking app. I can't even just... I can't even believe that. Count Dooku is a tree now? Yeah, yeah, according to me and how I pronounced it. Uh, Travis says, how are you leveling up so fast? I'm about to jump back on the game. Okay, so I'm in Olympus Coliseum. I'm over here at one of these uh, these uh, battle gates. And then you just do this and you level up a couple times each round. You just equip Thundaga and you just spam that. And it's over and done within like a minute or two, depending on how good you are, depending on how focused you are. Me, I'm like half and half. I'm paying attention to the stream, talking to you guys and trying to do this. Yeah, man. Like, dude, as weird as it sounds, you guys, the four-year wait... But was that, I mean, yeah, it was a four-year wait from Kingdom Hearts 1 to Kingdom Hearts 2, but the the two-year... Oh, battery's almost low. I gotta swap in a bit. But it was really only like a two-year, if that, year and a half wait from Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories to Kingdom Hearts 2, but that shit felt so long, bro. Like, oh my god, I remember one year, I think it was for Christmas 2005, I asked Santa, I was like, Santa, bring me Kingdom Hearts 2. If there's somebody who could do it, it's you. And then I remember for Christmas that year, I got another copy of Kingdom Hearts 1. I was like, what? And it was Greatest Hits 2, man. <laughs> oh my god. And I was like, Santa, how could you do this to me? How could you do this? I trusted you. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, Sora's Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit is, uh, it's too much red, bro. His outfit really peaked in Kingdom Hearts 2. They got to give him some new a new outfit, man. We can't we can't be this 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 new shit that he got. Now nah, we got to switch it up. Oh, Ancient Light, nice. Look at that, baby. Oh yes. But the fire got the fuck out of this guy. Santa got lazy that year. That nigga was just like here. Damn it. <laughs>
Yeah, no, it was definitely because we were young. You know, summer vacation felt longer. Um, you know, all that, all that shit, bro. Everything. But man, like nowadays, it's been five years since Kingdom Hearts three, and it doesn't feel like that. And we went through a whole, we went through a whole pandemic. Oh, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you guys hit that like button. It helps out the channel tremendously. I, tr I try not to say those a lot during the gaming streams. We got 41 people watching. We got 70 people liking. What's going on, you guys? What's going on? <laughs> I wonder if there's any, like, new people who just stumbled across the Kingdom Hearts 3 discoverability tag. And they're just like, I want to see this. I want to see this random person play. <laughs> I wonder if there's anybody who's like that right now. If you are there, comment or watch on the playback. I'm curious. Wadaga. I hate I hate that Wadaga takes so much fucking time to start up, bro. Oh, I'm new. Re94, you been here, bro. I meant like you just randomly like stumbled across the stream, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're new to, like, the, the, the King of Hearts streams, yeah. Goofy Bombardier is so pointless. Fuck that shit, bro. Oh. Oh, no. Pirate ship. Fuck it. I still remember the days that Kingdom Hearts 2 was out only in Japan, scrolling through videos on you. Yo! Do you guys remember the era? I love how we're, we're all old-ass people. Okay, we're at 82 now. Awesome. We're all old-ass people. And we're just reminiscing about the, the days before, the dark times. We used to have to go to different websites and download videos and wait for hours just to watch. Do you know how many, like, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix videos I would download? Oh, my God, bro. Dude, I still remember there was this Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix PV. It was, like, seven minutes long. Like, half of it was, like, Rechain of Memories. And then the other half was, um, the other half was, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Plus. Oh, my God. I watched that video hundreds of times, dude. <laughs> Yo. It was crazy, man. I remember when I, when I used to want to have to beat my meat, I have to print photos out from the computer. This shit was wild, bro. But yeah, man, Kingdom Hearts videos. Do you remember the old DM DBZ AMVs? Oh my god, Linkin Park ran that shit, bro. Me, Do you remember when people used to think that Birth by Sleep was Kingdom Hearts 4? Oh, I remember that time. Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts 4. Pre-order a PS3 now. Yes, sir. And then I remember... I remember being not upset, but I was just so like disappointed that when Rechain of Memories came over, that localization was fucking lazy as fuck. Because they didn't even bother to match the mouth flaps. So if you listen to the dub, the dub the dub mouth flaps didn't match because the Japanese ones were so precise and articulate. And then the it just it didn't match. And it wasn't like that anime thing where the, the flaps were just like this. And then you could you could realistically make it work if you're dubbing it. It was just so particular and precise that it was just like I remember Sora was saying like our very best friends and Sora's mouth was moving at like 40 words a minute, man. It was crazy. My freaking inventory is probably just going to say, you have enough of these fucking gems. I ain't going front, though. The, the intro for Chain of Memories was so spooky, bro. Like, Sora's just in the field, and he just hears this fucking voice. And he's like, in this place to lose is to find, and to find is to lose. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy, indeed. Yo, I remember I used to be watching. So here's the thing. You could watch full Naruto episodes on YouTube, or you could watch them in three parts with Spanish subtitles. Um, but, you know, for Shippuden, YouTube, that's when they started to crack down on that shit. Um, I used to have to go to this website called Vio. You guys remember Vio? It was like another video sharing site. Never took off. 
but I would go there and people would upload the fan sub versions from like Databio on there. And I would download those videos and I would watch them on my PSP. Oh my God. If you had a PSP in the mid 2000s, like you, that was the equivalent of having like a 17 inch penis. Like it just, you were so powerful and nobody could tell you anything, bro. Yeah, every every now and then I'll talk about the PSP and just talk about its good graces. I had uh, one Family Guy UMD, which had a couple episodes on there. Then I remember my sister had a PSP purely to read fan fiction like i'm not even lying you guys do you guys did you ever use the radio app on the psp oh my god i would be plugged into all the japanese radio stations on there i remember i um that was the first time i heard a digimon intro in japanese i heard the intro for uh frontiers in japan well it wasn't the intro it was uh the evolution music with the will oh man that right there yes sir Dude, I'm just unlocking all the fucking memories tonight. You had a National Treasure Book of Secrets? I had, like, a couple of UMDs. I had the Family Guy variety pack. I had Click, and I had Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I'm looking at them all right now. All right, where are we at right now? Okay, we're at 84. Yeah, you can, I would definitely recommend buying a PS Vita. I mean, if you're going to collect games for it, it might be difficult. But if you can hack that bitch, you're good, man. The Vita is dope. It's it's the best Persona 4. It used to be the best way to play Persona 4 Golden. Now it's on everything. But it's the best way to play Persona 2. Unless you want to emulate that shit. Yeah, but the Vita was sick, bro. Truly ahead of its time. Did you have the Sonic X GBA cartridges? No, I had a, I had a, a Dragon Ball a GT cartridge. It was an edited episode. Oh god. Do you guys remember Hit Clips? Oh my god. You, I remember like they sold them in stores. It was like thirty seconds or ten seconds of music. And that was it. Oh, my Lord. And the little boom boxes. Now, we found the trick to it. We would just go to, like, McDonald's and get them in the Happy Meals. But there were some people who used to pay for them shits. Oh, I remember Jenny on. <laughs> video now. Oh, yeah, I remember video now. Oh, my God. Man. Okay, we're at 86. Doing pretty good. Toothbrushes. Oh, God, dude. I'm telling you, the 2000s were such an interesting era. Because they were doing, like, any and everything to keep kids entertained. And now it's just, we got a tablet. Here you go. Oh, what's up, dude? I got food. Do you really have food? I remember it was like teeth tunes or something where you got like 30 seconds or two minutes of music for brushing your teeth. And I'm like, kids' attention spans aren't that bad. I mean, but then again, nowadays, people bring their phones into the bathroom for literally everything. I go front. When I'm taking a shower, I'm washing my hair or whatever, I, I, I got my phone. I got my phone in, in, the, uh, in the sink. I'm listening to a podcast or something. Colored ketchup, dude. The color ketchup. Oh my god. The purple and the green. The green ketchup. Not relish. Green ketchup. It was an era, guys. Holy shit.
I remember as a kid what I wanted so bad. I wanted a Digivice. I wanted a Gen 1 Digivice so bad. Could never find them in the stores. And I remember something stopped me from getting it. I don't know what it was. I think I got a Power Rangers toy instead. But the Gen 1 Digivices were just plastic. At least the ones that were in my area. I know they had the, the actual ones. The, the, they're like Tamagotchis or whatever. Um, <laughs> but I got the Gen 2 one. And I could never figure... I think my Digimon died with both my Gen 2 and my Gen 3 Digivices. I had Davis's Digivice and I had Takato's Digivice. And I had the cards for Takato's. And I, I don't know, my Digimon kept dying for some reason. I had Terriermon because you guys know I fucking love Terriermon. He's my favorite. Jesus. Oh, yeah, Beyblades. Bro, I remember I went to a Beyblade tournament. I got knocked out in the first round. I started crying. <laughs> I, you know, I felt so bad because I brought my electric Beyblade. You guys remember the electric Beyblade? And I fucked up when I was trying to, you know, let it rip. And then I lost. And I cried. I wasn't crying like, you know, like shedding tears. But it was kind of like Ash after he lost the Pokemon League. And at that moment, I realized I will never be like Ash Ketchum ever again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. Digimon is definitely a Pokemon story killer, I'll say that much. Yes, sir. Nah, my school really banned... My school banned uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, and Beyblades, bro. The Beyblades was crazy to me. I think because they thought it was, like, dangerous. Because you could launch that shit into someone's face. Which I, I get. But, bro, I remember one time... I Yo, listen, I was really... I was really plugged in with the bullshit. <laughs> I was, I remember one time we had um free period, right? Well, not free period, but you know, like the day before a holiday, the, the teachers don't usually want to give you work or whatever. Well, the cool ones anyway. So they'll just say like, hey, you can have the, the whole day to yourself to do whatever. I remember I brought in my Beyblades and my teacher was just like, no, you guys can't play Beyblades. And I was like, no, we're not playing Beyblades. We're just playing pretend pretending these things are like creatures and everything. My teacher was just like, all right. And then we're all the way in, like, the back of the class where she can't see us. And we're just, like, letting it rip on the floor. That sounds really fucked up. Like, we're taking a deuce. I was like, yo. And then nowadays, kids just bring their fucking phone and they can play Fortnite. They can they can do all this shit, man. Bring their Switches, play Mario Kart. I don't even know. How do schools even handle kids using phones these days? Because it's basically a necessity. Digimon has got some good games. Not as many good games as Pokemon, but shit. Nowadays, Pokemon just... <laughs> Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. All right, we're at 88. Back then, teachers used to take phones away. Yeah. <laughs> I was, um... When I grew up, the popular phones were the uh, the sidekicks. You guys remember the sidekicks, the, uh, the Nextels? And people purely got the the Nextel phones, number one, because it was durable, and it had the walkie-talkie thing. You guys remember that? Boost Mobile? Where you at? iPhones didn't really come into play until I was in high school, and even then, a lot of people didn't have it because it was um, it was carrier-exclusive to AT&T, and most people either had T-Mobile or Verizon. And if you had AT&T, you were considered lame because they had the lame phones, except for the iPhone. <laughs> All right, we're at 89. Yeah, the iPhone came out in 2007. So when it came out, I think I was, uh, I was, I just started high school. Like that fall. I didn't get my first smartphone until I graduated high school. Yo, I, oh my god, dude, I was so obsessed with the sidekick. It just looks so fucking cool, man. I just didn't have it on my carrier. You know what I had? Um, It wasn't like the sidekick, but it was like modeled after the sidekick. It was this thing called the LG Xenon. 
and it was one of those QWERTY, the phones with the QWERTY keyboards where you would flip it, you would slide it up. It was so cool, man. I felt like I was bawling. That was the rage back in the day. Phones with, like, tangible keyboards. And, you know, it had touchscreen and everything, but having a tangible keyboard was sick, dude. Oh, the flip phones with the sliding keyboard eye. Right. Boy, I know you ain't knowing. Wait, oh, wait, I didn't. Corey, I didn't see your comment. Hold on. I didn't see it, bro. Bro, Corey, I'm trying to pay attention to two things at once. You got the jacket? Did you put the fit on Instagram? Put that shit on Instagram. I need to see it. Put that shit on Instagram. He said, boy, I know you're not ignoring my comment. <laughs> that was zesty as fuck, Corey. I'm not going front, bro. He said, I know you're not ignoring my comment. <laughs> this man, Corey Gryffindor. Hey. That man snapped his fingers. He was just like, I know you're not ignoring my comment. Oh, you had the LG chocolate. Oh, I remember that shit. I remember that shit, bro. The only reason I remember the LG chocolate is because there was this girl who was trying to talk to me in, in ninth grade. And she had an LG chocolate. And I was so stupid, I didn't realize it. But it probably wouldn't have worked out. She was like 4 foot 11, man. Notice me. Notice me, senpai. Notice me, senpai. Dude, yeah, that was that was seriously a time. Nowadays, kids be going to school. They got, like, laptops and shit. Back in my day, it was like, you, you better take your ass to the library. And even before that, you'd be lucky if you had a uh, computer with a library. <laughs> a library. Computer with a library. Yes, sir, Chris. Uh, a library that had computers. Now, I know y'all remember the Scholastic Book Fair. I know y'all remember that. Hey, what's up, Toma? How you doing, T-Bell? What's up, my guy? Is everything good in the proverbial hood? How's my nephew doing? I miss my nephew. I miss that little baby. He's not a little baby no more. He like, that man's about to graduate high school, bro. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. Time be flying, bro. I was, I was there pushing this baby in a stroller so many years ago, and now he's graduating high school. I can't believe it. Yeah, the book fairs. Now, nah, the book fairs really highlighted the, 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 the wealth gap in this country. Because the kids, at least in my area, that always got to go to the book fairs and buy books were always the wealthy kids. Because most of the parents were just like, wait, you want us to take how much to go there and buy what? I remember I got to buy something at one book fair because my mom was just like, wouldn't you rather this money be for something else like a game? And I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but I remember kids were reading like, like Captain Underpants and all that shit. And me, I was... I was just reading game magazines. God, you're not... What do you mean I'm not 99 yet, bro? We're almost there. I'm at 91. We just started this shit like half an hour ago. We're already up 20 levels. You see? You're talking to me like an immigrant parent. Nothing Nothing is ever good enough. Nothing is ever good enough. At <laughs> uh, my school, my, step, my stepsisters were in high school in like 06, and they had take-home laptops. Are you serious? Dude, we didn't have no take-home laptops. Damn. We didn't get that shit. Corey Gryffindor sent a photo. Let me see what this shit is. Oh my god, it's his penis. Jesus. I don't need to see this. Oh, that's a fire jacket, bro. Nah, that's a fire fit, man. I like that. That's our boy Corey, guys. Look at him. He's got... So if you guys were in the stream last night, um, insert coin clothing, I believe that's what they were called. They were they had the Persona uh, Persona 3 varsity jacket. That shit's lit, bro. Damn, I wish they had that in my size. That's nice, bro. That's an awesome jacket. Bro, I'm still sad I didn't get that Mass Effect parka. I was around for the transition of teachers not taking your phones like halfway through my junior year. They were like, you can y'all... Really? Man, my shit. They were always on board with that. They were like, yeah, we gonna take this shit. The bell dismisses you, not... <laughs> I dismiss you, not the bell. Which, in hindsight, that was fucking funny. I'm just like, bro, I still gotta go to class. And it's gonna be your fault. They gotta teach him a lesson. Nah, middle school and high school are funny though. Would I repeat them? Probably not. <laughs> they tried to offer you an extra small. What are you gonna do? Wear that on your pinky? <laughs> like, oh, we don't have your size, two XL. Would you like an extra small jacket? What, what am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? I'll give it to a random child. Like, yeah, here you go for this franchise that you are not old enough to be playing. <laughs> Take this. 
Or give it to like a really tiny like white girl, a little tiny Asian girl. I don't know. And they'd be like, oh my god, thank you. Hajime Mashite. What does Hajime Mashite mean again? I don't remember when I'm saying that shit. <laughs> we gonna get canceled. The iPhone 4S is peaked to me. I still got my old iPhone 4S around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I, oh, it's not a 4S, but it's a 4. Damn, look at this shit, guys. This is the iPhone 4. Look how tiny. Bro, we was really out here. We was really out here using phones this size. I've been like, selfie. Look how tiny. This shit is. Bro, this phone is. My finger is almost bigger than this phone. This is crazy, bro. This is actually crazy, the size of this phone, bro. We was really using phones that were this size. Oh, my God. But look at this, man. This, and then you compare this to the size of the iPhone, um, the 14 Pro Max. Oh, my Lord. Look at this, dude. Bro. Look at this. Look at, look at this. The entire body of the phone fits in. <laughs> like, look at this. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. We was really out here typing on this? We was re we was really Man. <laughs> we was really out there, bro. <laughs> yeah, we out there. We definitely out there. Donald, why the fuck you keep moving? Stand still. Look at this man goofy. Herc is just standing on on watch. Yeah, the iPhone 4 was my first phone. My first iPhone. My dad had the 3GS, and then I used to... So, my first smartphone was an Android phone, and you, you guys remember the early days of Android were a very lawless territory. Because most Android phones, save for like one or two, were... It was garbage, bro. It was so bad. Android didn't get their shit together until a few years later. And then, because that phone kept fucking up... And it kept dying all the time. And, you know, like, this is when I'm, like, 18, 19. My parents are like, well, we need to get a hold of you. You need a reliable phone. Just get an iPhone. Because it was like, you get an iPhone, I think it was like a dollar. It was like one dollar down at AT&T at the time. And so I was like, okay. So I had that iPhone for a while. And then um, my screen broke. And then my homie, um, because, you know, this is back when contracts. You had to be on contract to upgrade. Uh, the, so I remember my screen broke. And I was still a few months due for a contract. My homie uh, Tundex, he was like, "Yo, you can hold my own. You can hold my old iPhone 5." So I held that for a few months. Then I got myself the Note 4, and I loved the Note 4. The Note 4 was like one of my favorite phones. I got a trophy, Rook. I defeated 5,000 enemies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll have the plat before we know it. Not really. You know, I'm platinum in games like that. Let's talk about how The Last of Us 2 should have had multiple endings, like Persona does. Ah, uh, I mean that that introduces a lot of problems. Especially from a narrative point of view. It's kind of like what happened with Infamous, you know? Because you could change... Depending on what choice and decision you make. If you do an inevitable sequel, they'll have to pick one of those endings as the canon option. So you're going to be alienating half the audience when you do that. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I'm fine with the ending and what they did. My problem was that it's just... The Last of Us Part Two went on five hours too long. Like, that game had three different endings, bro. I was like, is this Return of the King? <laughs> hey gore gore the movie guy what's up my brother yeah this is the dude from smash bros they it's crazy bro they gave him his own game but i don't know why they put three in the title that that makes no sense whatsoever it's the whole george lucas thing where the first movie in the series is gonna be a four and the sequel is gonna be a five oh my god all right bro whatever you say but what's up gore how you doing man Okay, we are at 94. We are almost there, guys. Neo, don't hate me, but Kingdom Hearts 3 is my favorite Kingdom Hearts game. That's fine, man. I don't hate people for that. 2016 Neo would be like, man, what's wrong with you? 2016 Neo, you guys will know this. 2016 was like my last year of savagery. After that year, I was not as savage. I was just like, you know what? I'm done. I'm, I'm letting go of that hatred. And I think it died with Final Fantasy XV. I think Final Fantasy XV, when that game was just such a colossal disappointment for me, I was like, you know... 
in life, you're going to be disappointed. But don't let that control you. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, because nowadays, I'm just like, oh, if something's bad, I'm like, yeah, it's bad. But you know what? If you, if you like it, whatever, man. You know? Like, whatever. Hajime Mashite. <laughs> Thank you, Toma. That's right, because Toma did take Japanese. Yeah, man. But it was, uh... Mm. Yeah, I, I I really do miss the Infamous games. But if I had to pick between Infamous and, and uh, Ghost of Tsushima, give me that Ghost of Tsushima, bro. All right, we are at 94, guys. We're almost there. But having hatred in your heart is so much fun. It is. This man says, I'm a top-tier hater on God. Honestly, it depends. Oh, there's... there's oh, ooh, you got pockets inside the jacket. Nice. So when you pull out, like, the, the inside of the pocket has the, the logo on there? Nice. Okay. Yo, Infamous 2 is goaded. I remember... You know what the crazy thing is? I remember... I remember when that game first came out. It was, like, my senior year in high school. And uh, one of my friends... He, was, he beat the game, I think, in, like, two days. And I was just like... That was the first time I was just like... Nigga, the game just came out. What are you doing? Because <laughs> I know the game wasn't ridiculously long, but I was like, bro, we... Because you know what it was? It came out in June 2011. We were about to graduate. So, you know, we don't we don't really have shit to do with seniors. Except, like, prom and, you know, if you didn't take your, your final exams, you had to study for those. But he had nothing to do. So he just finished up Infamous 2 in two days. And I was just like, bro, what? I was like, bro, I j <laughs> Yo. Yo. So so Pap says, um, whenever I see you quote retweeting news talking about congratulations to everyone looking forward to it, this is so fucking foul, man. You have me rolling. Dude, because you know how it is, like okay, so here's my thing. My whole thing is this. What you guys need to understand about social media, especially Twitter, there's a lot of I can't use that word anymore, so I'm going to use a word that our friend Chris Broussard said. There's a lot of developmentally disabled people on this app, right? They're the type of people who say, you like apples. They say, why the fuck do you hate oranges? So, you, there's just certain things that you cannot say because they are going to take what you say and they're going to misconstrue it. And I'm not trying to have my mentions up with these, 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 these DD people. I don't want these DD people in my mentions, man. I don't. I really don't. The only DDs that I need are a pair of double Ds in bed. That's all I need. So with these dudes out here, right? I remember, for example, I put up this tweet a few days ago. And 2016 Neo would have, would have said some really fucked up shit. But I put out this tweet saying, like, with this whole Power World discourse, um... Unless you stop buying Pokemon games, Game Freak and Pokemon Company and Nintendo, they're not going to improve the quality because you guys keep buying it. So, obviously, it's not an issue. And then someone says, oh, so what you're saying is that we should pirate all the games? Got it. And I just... You ever read a comment and you just want to smack this person's mother for bringing them into this life? I looked at that comment and I was just like, dude, I can't, I can't deal with these folk. I really can't, bro. I can't. So, that's all I say. All I say now is that if there's something I'm, I don't really fuck with or I'm not a fan of, but it's getting, like, good news or a sequel, I just say congratulations. Like, congratulations to everybody looking forward to this. Because I just don't care. You know? Like, like what did I say? Um, Like, when Halo got a season two, I was like, congratulations to all the fans of the Halo TV show by Paramount. Like, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not really going to tweet about it. Because I already wasted enough time talking about season one. So I'm just like, listen, if you like it, go enjoy it. I, I just, I'm not, I'm not like, exactly. Congrats to all the Pokemon fans out there. They're having fun. The sales are great. And I love that for them, man. Yeah, I know they're trying to do different things with season two. I'm just not. I'm not here for it. It's never worth your piece, bro. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just, I could be replying to stuff on Twitter, like stupid shit to correct people, but I'm just not, it's not in my, it's not, it's just not, it's not worth it. It is not worth it. It is never worth it, you guys. Trust me. It is never worth it, guys. It is just never, it is never worth it. It is never worth it, you guys. Trust me on this. Oh my god. Let's see. It's just, it's ridiculous, man. 
you got to protect your peace, you guys. Before you go on a thread and you comment with someone who doesn't even have a profile picture and their name is like D-Link4365, this, that, professional agitator, I'm like, okay. You got it. You got it. Yeah, there is no nuance on social media. What was better to you, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Heroes or Ninja Council? Oh, I liked Ultimate Ninja Heroes just because uh, you could... Um, it was basically like playing Ultimate Ninja on the go. Ninja Council was alright, but... The Ultimate Ninja Heroes, it, it, it felt like a console game on the go. You guys remember those days. I want to play my console quality games on the go. That's what I have my PlayStation Portable, because it's a PlayStation Portable. You can play your PlayStation experiences, but portably. Do you think the anime version of Naruto should get a remake? Uh, I don't think so, considering Naruto Part 1 outside of the filler is basically dope as fuck and still rewatchable. So the only thing you'd really be improving is just the animation, and... I don't think it's worth doing a full remake, but listen. If they come out with the Naruto Part 1 remake, and that shit hits all the right chords, and it's good, I mean, I'll watch an episode. Would I rewatch all of it? Maybe if I was doing it weekly as like, like, oh, hey, let's look at Naruto 20 plus years later, guys. But it would just be more for nostalgia for us. But then I feel kind of sad about that because I'm like, I feel like there would be other animes we should be watching instead. I mean, they're doing that with One Piece. They're doing that with One Piece. They're doing, they're remaking like East Blue, which, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. One Piece is pretty old. It's still watchable. But the idea of them getting a One Piece anime that's got a little bit better pacing, better animation. But that's, here's my biggest problem. I hope it's not boneless. Because this is my issue with a lot of these, like, celebratory anniversary, like, animes that they do for long-running series. Like, for example, with, um, Case Closed, Detective Conan. They did a complete remake of one of the most iconic episodes, uh, Moonlight Sonata Murder. If you guys are a big fan of Detective Conan, you know that episode and how good it is. Two-part episode, it's awesome. My sister and I, we found out they did a remake of it, and we were just like, holy shit, we need to watch this. Bro, they took out all the soul, the identity, the substance, the 90s flair, the the shadows, the, the they toned it down, it wasn't as gruesome, and it wasn't even a crazy gruesome episode like that. And it, it, it just, it, it felt fucking flat, bro. It felt like, as weird as it sounds, AI generated, bro. And that's my biggest fear. Like, I really hope that's not the case with One Piece, where they just, like, condense it for the sake of condensing it for newcomers, when they don't realize that One Piece is about the journey. And the pacing with One Piece really doesn't get bad until the last couple of years with the anime. Really. You know what I'm saying? So that's my biggest problem. Yeah, case closed was great as fuck, man. All I'm saying is if you run into Conan, uh, Rachel, or Richard Moore in public, you better turn the fuck around. All right, we're at level 98, you guys. This should be our last one. Hopefully. Yeah, no, we're definitely going to get a proper Dragon Ball remake, like, legitimately, legitimately from the ground up. Like, that's going to happen probably for the 50th anniversary. It'll be a completely different cast, new actors... It's going to be different, but it's going to happen, guys. Because the Dragon Ball anime is, like, about to be, what, 40 years old? Dragon Ball turns uh, 40 this year, right? The manga turns 40? So, yeah. Dragon Ball is, all, is basically... All, oh, I got a trophy. Leveled out. Yay! We hit level 99, you guys. We hit level 99. We did it. Let me see my trophy progress in this. Uh, not that I care about trophies. Where the hell are the trophies in this? Thirty-seven percent, bro, guys. I didn't. This is how much I didn't care about Kingdom Hearts. I didn't do the Hundred Acre Wood. I didn't finish that. I didn't finish a lot of the shit. Like anything with the go like, bro. I didn't do none of this shit, bro. The gummy ship stuff, I skipped. I said, fuck it. Rushed through it. I didn't, like, I'm just, all this other stuff, I'm like, uh-uh. Like, no. No. Hold on to 50 photos? Nigga, what is this, iCloud? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> nope. 
Oh, uh, there's all the remind stuff. Is that really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Toei, Toei has, their priorities are all out of whack, bro. I just don't understand it. Where the fuck is all that money going? Either these animes aren't making as much money as we thought they were, or something is dangerously fucked up. Ooh, okay, I see the pocket. I see the pocket. I see the pocket, Corey. I like that. I like that. Okay, so Sora is now level 99, guys. Woo! We did it. We did it, Dora. We did it. Now, let's go and save real quick. God forbid something happens. Yeah, it's crazy. Dragon Ball is still in the topic of discussion. And the Dragon Ball Super anime has been over for years. Guys, that Dragon Ball Super Broly movie is like five years old. Five years old, guys. Dude, I'm telling you. Like, I'm so glad they redubbed it with Kai. Because if they recycle that old audio, oh, God. People, people just got to... Listen, I, I love the OG Dragon Ball Z dub. I do. But a lot of that stuff has not aged well. <laughs> a lot of that stuff has not aged well, my friends. Especially, like, when you first hear, like, Sean Schemmel's voice and everything. Like, that man. Because he, he wasn't really an actor like that. Okay. So, we're all done. We're leveled up. <laughs> Level 99. Okay. So, let's get serious, you guys. Um, did you ever watch Superhero? It's still in the packaging. <laughs> I might watch it tonight. I know I say that all the time, but I might. Um, okay. So, these are the Keyblades that I have. Right? All these Keyblades here. I thought there'd be more Keyblades in this game. I know there are, but like, you know. So, these are all the Keyblades I have. Do you think I could take on one of the data battles with these? Yeah, Chris Ayers was the GOAT. Rest in peace to him. Dude, yeah, the and, and the dubs are never consistent with the OG Dragon Ball because the first, I think, 67 episodes they redubbed, then 68 onwards sounds so jilted until you get to, like, the Cell Saga and the Boo Saga where they, they finally, like, you know, shit starts evening out. At least with Kai, it's consistent all the way. But, yeah, no, but the Ultima Weapon, what do I have to do to get the Ultima Weapon? I know I have to do a lot more stuff, though. How feasible is it to get the Ultima Weapon? Kingdom Key and Starlight. You should go get Oathkeeper at least, if you don't mind. Well, it depends. You said I have to get all the lucky emblems, right? Uh, Let's see. Lucky emblems. Okay. Let's look at them. Why is this so there are no... Oh, okay. So if I have that, that means I got all the lucky emblems. So, Twilight Town. Okay, so I have four, one, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ah, sixteen. So, if I get all sixteen, I could get Oathkeeper. I have to do a lot to get the ultimate weapon. Jesus Christ. What are we talking, man? Hopefully, I ain't got no suck no dick, man. I ain't trying to do that. Fuck that, bro. Uh. So, I need... I need to get these. I need to get the rest of these. All right, you know, we'll, we'll fuck around. We'll get some lucky emblems. You can use any keyblade in day battle. It all comes down to learning the moves and patterns. Yeah, but I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to be equipped out of pocket. Yeah, listen, welcome to the streams. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Uh, okay, let's at least get Oathkeeper. All right, let's let's go get uh... Donald. Where are your feet? His feet are in the ground. Oh my God, Goofy's too. <sighs> Just YouTube it and finish it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get Oricalcum. Gotta get some Oricalcum. One of them is MG base. Oh, what's up, Power Drew Show? How you doing, bro? Okay, so So as far as Keyblades are concerned. Oh wait, I didn't get any of the emblems. I thought that meant I was No. I didn't. I thought that that meant I was done with the emblems in Olympus. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a lot of shit I got to do. Fuck. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. 
Even being level 99, you get hit twice and you die. Fuck me, bro. Fuck me, bro. So we gotta do... I thought that... If it's great out like that, you're not done. Okay, hold on, wait. Fuck. I thought that I got them. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I never I never went back to Olympus after I beat it. I don't get the... Uh, what? I don't get the gummy phone. So, what do I have? Oh. What's up, Meg? She a baddie, bro. Damn, I really... I thought that this meant that it was done, bro. I thought this meant they were done. Oh my god. Fuck me. Fuck me, I only got one here. I only got five here. Fuck me, bro. I am fucked. I thought I was almost done. Oh my god. I could give it a try, but that would mean like... Watching a YouTube video and doing this. I might have, I might have some extra credit homework, bro. Holy. Because watching YouTube stream and then going and getting all these lucky emblems is just like... <laughs> I need like... I need like Oracle. I need someone to sit in the chair. Now you have a reason to go to Hunter Acre Woods. Oh, God. Ugh. I definitely need to use a guide. I need to do like homework to do this shit. Okay, so what can I do in the meantime? <laughs> what can I do in the meantime for Sora to make sure that he's equipped? Uh, anything as far as armor goes? Like, what do you guys... Armor, accessories, items. <laughs> yeah, there's only three there, but there's so much more I have to do. <sighs> oh, golly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we gotta get Oath Keeper. Level up your Keyblades. A, a synthesizer armor. Where do I go to level up my Keyblades? Where do I go to do that? Guys, it's been like five years since I really, really played this shit. High Refocuser is such a funny name. Moogle Shop. Alright. Hello, Moogle. Jesus. Or a Calcum. Yay. 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 Keyblade Forge. Power up your Keyblade. Alright, so which one should I... Should I... Which one should I be upgrading? The Kingdom Key? Starlight? What do you guys recommend? The Moonless Shop. The Moon! When the Moon... Uh. So I need a Damascus. Damascus, in order to level that shit up. I need to get a Damascus, bro. I got no items, bro. Where the fuck do I get these items, bro? Oh my god, let's synthesize some shit. Can't synthesize shit! Oh, I can't. I, bro, fuck. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play Hunter Gathering shit the game for this. I have to go shoot asteroids in the gummy ship? See, cause I skipped everything. I skipped all the gummy missions, bro. I just went straight through. And I didn't like... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I'm actually mad now. <sighs> so I gotta shoot the gummy ship to get materials. To synthesize. Huh. Oh god, you guys. And I thought getting to level 99 would be the most annoying part. Oh god, so we gotta... I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm mentally preparing a list. So we gotta shoot shit in the gummy ship. To get shit. We gotta find the rest of the lucky emblems. To get Oath Keeper. And we should be okay. Because provided we level up this. We level up the Keyblades. We get Oath Keeper. We should be fine. Alright. So I, I guess let's go and shoot some shit. Do the Flan Challenges. 
Is that is that the cooking shit? Time to leave it for next year. No, 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 no. We're getting it done this year. We are getting it done this year. Yes, sir. Bro, look at this. I'm just... Bro, I'm really vibing right now. I'm really vibing. They got good items. Where's the flan challenge? That's in uh, Twilight Town, right? No, I'm thinking... You know, my dumbass is thinking flan as in, like, the, 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 the treat, the pastry or whatever. I, I was like it says the mushroom organization 13 members. Golly, bro. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm so fucked. <laughs> he said no, the flounder, this game's mushroom 13. Bro, I don't remember anything about this game. You tell me anything about Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I know it like the back of my hand, but 3? I don't even think this game exists. I don't even think this game exists, you guys. This game just came out today. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> like you guys know you saw my face after i beat kingdom hearts 3 i was just like man i'm done with this <laughs> y'all got it <laughs> y'all got it now i gotta find them oh my god i really need to read a guide for all this shit okay all right okay okay so we got we got some homework ahead of us we got some homework ahead of us i gotta all right Okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Each Disney World has a flan challenge. Where would I find the flan in this world? Do you guys know off the top of your head? Is that a lucky emblem? Is this a lucky emblem? I'm gonna take a photo of it. Still needs a little work, though. I'm gonna take a photo of this. You're gonna take a picture of me? Okie dokie. I hope this is a lucky emblem. That better be a lucky emblem. If not, I'll be really sick. I have to position it right now. Oh, fuck me. Hey there. Goofy move. What the fuck? <laughs> What's up, Lapis? How am I supposed to? And arsonist too. What's up, guys? Yo, move. There we go. All right, guys. We got a lucky emblem. Yay. Now, 8,000 more to go. I can't even climb this shit. Damn. All right. We got one lucky emblem, guys. That's in the starting area. All right. Damn, I really gotta look up a whole guide to find this stuff. I bet. Okay. Oh, all right, yeah, so we are definitely going to need a guide just so we save some time. As far as, like, finding the, um, flan, not the flan, the uh, lucky emblems. Well, we got one in the starting area. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna look up where to find the Flan minigames. Kingdom Hearts 3 Flan uh, locations. 
The Flantastic Seven. Oh yeah, they do look like Flan. The Honeydew Flan. I think I'm looking at the same guy, uh, Corey. I think so, the uh, IGN one. This shit will load. Oh, you sent me the Lucky Emblem ones. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay. Alright. So. <laughs> I'm going to move this guide over here. I'm going to move the chat over here so I can look at this. And we can find... We're, we're at least... We're at least going to get all the Lucky Emblems in uh, Olympus Coliseum tonight. We're going to do that. Hold on. Uh. Okay. Uh, thankfully, it's labeled the locations. All right. So Thebus. So I'm looking at the IGN guide. Damn, I really need to get my three monitor set up back. Fuck. Uh, I'm looking at this Thebus overlook in the area with the giant statue after running over the roof. Okay, some Thebus. Okay, so this one's by the stairs. Let's buy some stairs. Blue-eyed samurai. I saw a little bit of it. It's really, really good. Need to finish it. Phoebus Overlook. No. Uh. Look how high this dude can glide. So it's not an agora. Yeah, no, it's really good. Oh, at least we found one. All right. Oh, this wasn't the one I was looking for, but hey, we found it. Let's see. Look at that, you guys. We explore and we find it. Alright, so we got two so far. Yeah, I'm sorry if this is not the most exciting part of the stream, but we are definitely, we're definitely going to get all of Olympus Coliseum's uh, lucky emblems tonight. We have two so far. Hey, Wonka. What'd you think of Wonka? I really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Where is Overlook? Shut up, Donald. Damn it. Wish I could explore that. <laughs> He's like, I'm here for a good time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aren't we all? Aren't we all, my friends? So what are you guys playing recently? I'm, I'm doing that streamer thing where I ask you guys what you're doing so you don't focus on the boring part of the stream. What you guys been up to? What you been doing? I mean, outside of doing this stream, you know me, man. I've just been on that Persona 5 Royal. I'm already 60 hours deep into this playthrough. I'm uh, doing Okumura's Palace. I should hopefully have that finished up tonight. I've been playing Last of Us 2 Remastered. Oh, yeah. Game of the year 2024. Game of the fucking year, brother. Okay, I'm going to go back to the save point. Look at this gliding, man. This is crazy. Ooh, triangle strategy. I still got to play that, bro. After I finish up, I really need to get into finishing Octopath Traveler 2. I put like 10 hours into that. I'm enjoying it. 
Oh, you're going to prioritize reload over infinite wealth? Hey, man, listen, they come out around the same time. Everyone's got to pick one, you know what I'm saying? Oh, duh, wrong location, Neo. Yakuza Kiwami, my man. You're doing your wife's hair right now? Ooh, that's a great game. Nice. How are the graphics on that one? And what's the learning curve like? I heard it's got a steep learning curve. I don't really do Platinums, so I wouldn't do the Octobath Child Platinum. I just want to get through that game. Um... What the fuck is this? Oh my god, it's a flan! Alright, what the fuck do I do with this? Use the arrows to gain speed and run to as many flan as possible. Okay. What the fuck? Ah! I already fucked up. Bro, I'd just be randomly finding shit in this game. This is crazy. Oh god, the controlling of this is ew. Ew, ew, ew. Yeah, this control is so weird. Oh my lord. Ew. Stop. I fucked up. I just passed the emblem, but I found the flan. He's like, no, you fucked up, dude. He's like, try again. I will try again. But first, I gotta find the lucky emblems. There's one emblem right here. Let's see. There we go. Yay! Alright. You gotta make him jump for joy. God, they just have such high standards, Corey. Alright. So I got that one. There should be another one. Uh... Hmm. At least I know where that one is. So, did the mushroom, but you weren't complaining about them. No, man. It was a, it's just the controlling. Controlling for that shit felt kind of weird, though. Oh, enemies. Hello. Wataraga. Oh, some classic Kingdom Hearts 1 enemies. Yes, sir. How y'all like that? Ooh, look at the water everywhere. Mm. There's one more. Where's the other one? Okay, so it should be, I think, down here. Because it says run over the houses. Ooh. Yep. There goes Donald. Okay, so this is looking kind of familiar to the guide. And where it should be. Yeah, water magic has some nice effects. I just wish it didn't take a while to start up. Because I love how the other one, sword, just be zipping and zipping and zooming. Ooh, NPCs. Where is this? Godzilla and Oppenheimer, the atomic double feature. There's actually a photo of Killian Murphy with the director of Minus One, which I think is just hilarious. Is it here? No, this is the gardens. Yeah, the fuck? We'll hey, look at this statue of Herc. Zero to hero. It's so weird seeing, like, more NPCs in a Kingdom Hearts game. Where 
is this? Okay, I I gotta go. Here with the giant statue with the shield. Run. Okay. Because it should be here. I think that's it. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Out of my way. Out of my way. Hey. Hey, man. Do your thing, AI God. Do your thing, man. The only thing I'll tell you is just take it. Be chill, man. Be chill, bro. Just be you. That's it. There we go. Hey. Okay, so we got the one in Overlook. We got the one in Agora, Overlook, the Big Olive. Okay, so we're done here, so we got to go to Mount Olympus. Give this man a Rocky montage. You're the best around. No one's ever gonna keep you down. You're the best around. Yes, sir. But all the lucky emblems, bro. We shall find all the emblems. Damn it, let me explore, please. So let me just double check. Okay, I have uh, Okay, yep, so we got four. Mount Olympus. Uh, cliff Ascent. We'll do Cliff Ascent. Cliff Ascent, okay. Summit, Corridors. Anything in Realm of the Gods? Yeah, there's a couple in Realm of the Gods. Yeah, there's a couple in Realm of the Gods, so we'll do... Okay. This is really crazy. We're out here taking Snapchat photos, bro. Hey, what's up, Flame? How you doing, bro? Well, we made good progress. Sora is now level 99, but we need to get this special keyblade, so we're going around and we're taking Snapchat photos. Uh, so it's I have to take something that's on a tree? It says it's something that looks like this, they said. Okay. Spooky. <laughs> Sounds like what I could do. What TV movie actor would you want to be in Kingdom Hearts 4 and onward? Uh. That's a really good question, actually. I don't really be paying attention to a lot of the, uh... Because, you know, like, they're not going to cast someone like... I want Bob Odenkirk. That'd be fucking hilarious. Bob Odenkirk would be sick. I don't know what role he'd play as an NPC, but that, that's what I'm talking about. So it's not here. <laughs> Tony Todd. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Kieran Culkin. Let's get Kieran Culkin in this. Or Jeremy Allen White. Wee! 
Demi Lovato, Ariana Grande. Please, please don't put that into the world. Please don't do this, sir. Taylor Swift in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, my Lord. Could you imagine? But I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they might be past that era. But then again, they did have... Um, uh, what's his name? Um, one of the Sprouse... One of the Sprouse twins to voice what? Yozora, right? That's wild. That's so cool. Yeah, Dylan Sprouse. They're just so fucking cool, man. Oh, there we go. There's the emblem. That should look like uh, something of Lion King, you guys. All right. So we got that. Oh, mother motherfuckers. So we got five emblems now, you guys. So let's keep going down. Now we have to go to Cliff Ascent. Whoa. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not going front. If you show 12-year-old me this, that's crazy. Yo, yeah, Ray Chase the GOAT. That's my guy. Ray Chase is one of my favorite actors working today, man. He just, he crushes everything, bro. Him and, uh, as Alfin. Oh my god, yes. Nah, we really had Christopher Lee in a Kingdom Hearts game. Can we just talk about that for a second? We had Christopher fucking Lee, the legend. The legend that is him. Kingdom Hearts really pulled out, like, they had everybody, bro. Okay, so it says it should be up here. Uh, they said when you run up a cliff to the right of a small waterfall. Small waterfall. There's no waterfalls here. Right? Unless I'm going crazy. No. Oh, there it is. You see it? I see it right there. I wonder if I can take it from this angle. Oh, of course not. Can I get higher from here? I keep thinking this shit is like Breath of the Wild and I can traverse anything. But this is it. I have to get a, a better angle of this. Christopher Lee being super racist to nobodies. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, that's one of the roles. Okay, so here's the small waterfall. So I gotta get up here. Okay. So I should. No, I need to get higher. Hey, if you don't leave me the fuck alone. I don't know you. That's my purse. It's right there. Okay, so we see it. Can I go through here and take a photo of it? Mother truckers. Getting in my way, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. And there we go, you guys. All right. Bada bing, baby. So, we got everything in Mount Olympus. Oh, no, no, no. There's one more. Uh, actually, there's two more. Cliff Ascent. Uh, small Waterfall. Small Waterfall. I saw two small waterfalls. So there's one here. Oh, there it is. Yes! Look at me. I am I am a damn master of video games. I just it just it came to me, guys. It just came to me, guys. It's like a sixth sense, bro. It's like I have ESPN or something. Guys, listen, if you if you need any help in your video games, just send me a DM on Twitter. 
I got you. Let's see. There we go. Uh, leave the mountain from the safe point. Yeah, ESPN. You you guys don't know where that reference is from? Are you serious? Y'all don't know where that reference is from. Please, somebody cultured. Let these people know where that reference is from. Thank you. Thank you. We got some men of culture here. Thank you. Thank you. Read 94 and Deuce. You guys got it. You guys got it. Y'all got it. <laughs> yeah. That first Mean Girls movie was goaded. Did you know there's two Mean Girls 2, you guys? There's Mean Girls 2, and then there's a Mean Girls 2. Uh... So I have to go to... Uh, 70 cent chance is already raining. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, whoa. Let me just save real quick. Okay. All right, so now we got to climb back up. We got to find a building that's red. Keep an eye out for a red building, and there should be a pillar next to it. Yeah, Rachel McAdams, she's beautiful, bro. And she was like 25 when she was doing that. So she was like older than the rest of the cast, I believe. Okay, keep your eye out for like a red building. I see a red building there. But is that the red building? I don't know. I don't think it's this one. Because this one I'm looking at has two pillars. Okay, cliff ascent. Uh, keep climbing. Keep climbing, Tony! Hua! Come on, come on, come on, sword. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, God. Dang it, sword. Is it over here? Oh, yo, dude, exactly, Matt. That, I, you know how many times I rewatched that trailer? Oh, my God. And the music, the Rage Awakened. Okay, so we got this one. We're looking for another one. It's near a red building. This is a blue building. So it's not red versus blue. Red building? Red building? Red building. Where's the pillar? Is there a pillar around here? I recognize the rock here. And can we smell what he's cooking? Yes, we can. All right. There we go. Good picture. Okay. Uh. Okay. We are one, two, three. We're almost done here. We got a couple more. So we did everything in Cliff Ascent. Now it's time to go to the realm of the gods. This is not so bad. And I'm hanging out with my best buds. Just hanging out. Look at look at this shit. Twelve year. Old. Look at this shit. Could you imagine if you could explore all this stuff? Could you imagine? You can just fly. King Hearts is just one seamless environment. Oh my god. Do you have a favorite Ghibli movie? Shit, man. I love Spirited Away. I love Howl's Moving Castle. Princess Mononoke. I know. Very basic, basic, basic. Uh. I love Totoro. Ooh. Um, Castle in the Sky is really underrated, in my opinion. I love Castle in the Sky. Howl's is not mid. Flame, if you don't jump, man. Who? Nobody asked you, Flame. Nobody asked you, sir. I'll be right back. Hold up. Ah.
Rough. No, don't y'all be hating on Howl's Moving Castle. Stop this. Stop, stop this. No. No, 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 no. Don't y'all be hating. No, I will not tolerate that. I will, I will, I will deplatform all of you guys. Don't, don't just, don't, don't. Do not get it started. I love Howl's. Howl's is fun. Al's is fun. It's fucking Christian Bale avoiding his problems and evading paying his taxes. Like, that's just God tier to me. Yeah, Riku's design in this game is just ass, bro. I don't like it at all. Hello. Goodbye. I found a fucking lucky emblem and I wasn't looking for it. We need buff Riku. We need Riku just to grow his hair out again, dude. I don't know what they were thinking giving Riku a fucking, uh... His keyblade looks like a freaking key, like a car key, bro. An old school car key. I'm like, Riku, what are we doing, bro? You, you wait, you didn't like Kingdom Hearts 2's? You didn't like Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku's hair? Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku hair? Nah, I don't fuck with that shit, bro. Nah, Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku hair, I don't fuck with. His Kingdom Hearts 1 design is the best, but Kingdom Hearts 2's? That shit is great. Look at all this stuff on the- What the fuck is this? Oh, I forgot about the sand creature. Look at it. Fighting Sandman in this shit. Oh, Dream Drop Distance. Okay, I see what you're saying. I was about to say, Mr. Gryffindor. Mr. Gryffindor, I was about to say. What is happening? You had one too many White Claws, my friend. Shout out to you guys. For no other reason, you guys are dope. Just shout out to y'all. <laughs> Just talk about another man's hair. All stream. Okay, so there should be another one right around here. There it is. Okay. Let's see. Nice. Okay, so we got two here. Now we have to go to Secluded Forge. know if we're going in the right direction though. I'm just Look at these clouds, so billowy. Don't think there's anything here though. Attack. Don't see him. Yeah, his Kingdom Hearts 2 design is peak. Peak, peak costume design. Like I said, man, I'm getting better in Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm just being real. Except Kingdom Hearts 4. That might be it. Look at us. Just talk about another man's looks. All stream. Can't climb no water. There we go. Secluded Forge. Okay. Uh, so, right over here. Should be that anvil over there. There we go. There's that lucky emblem, guys. The 
fuck is going on? Did I never do this? Am I am I about to be chefing up some shit? What the hell? What the? Do I have to like align all these things? Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's like Infinity War. No, no, no! I had it right. I had it right. No. I had it right. No, I had it right. No. You move here, and then you... No, no, no. No. Yes. There we go. Oh, I'm making Stormbreaker, guys. Did I make a new weapon? What did I get? Oh, I got a shield for Goofy. That's pretty cool. Imagine it's just like so low leveled because this is like early point of the game. Oh. Oh. Uh, wisdom form looked badass, bro. I love Final Form, though, the most. Final Form looked great. I just... Something something was... Like, Wisdom Form was Big Dick Energy Sora. Like, straight up. Wisdom Form, man. So, I gotta go to Cloud Ridge. Uh, okay. The sunshine, let the sunshine in the sun shining. Two of my favorite movies used that song. It was uh, <laughs> the Forty Year Old Virgin, and then Reese's Schools Out. Man, I loved Reese's Schools Out, bro. That was such a good movie. Yeah. Hey, look, it's uh, is a uh, Zeus. Yeah. He's not sticking his dick in other things. Okay, so there should be... Uh... This should be somewhere... Hold on. <laughs> we going back to the worst Kingdom Hearts worlds? Nah, you know it was a dope ass Kingdom Hearts world. I loved Tron. I loved Tron, man. That shit was fun. So inventive, man. So inspired. That world, bro. They didn't have to give us a Tron world, but they fucking did that shit for us, man. Is that the Lucky Emblem over there? That looks like the Lucky Emblem right there. Bro, that's it right there. It looks like that, but I can't take a fucking photo of it. Ah. Yeah, that is a lucky emblem. Yeah, but I can't take it from this angle, it says. Hashtag all for one, hashtag one for all is so funny to me. Okay, from this corridor save point, take the long rail that brings you higher down the path to the west. Oh. Man said coded is one of his favorites. Okay. I love that for you, but okay. I need to be closer to it, so where do I go? Hmm. 
This is, uh... Nine Tail Naruto 98. My guy, Matt, is that you, bro? Holy shit, wait a second. Matthew, is that you, bro? I hope it's not another Nine Tail Naruto 98. Yo, no fucking ways. If that's if that's you, Matt, I swear to God, man. Yo, my guy, long time, literally, long time no see, my G. How you been? Yo, y'all don't know this shit, but me and this man Matthew, we go way back, like what, fucking 2008. That's someone who I know out here in the real, bro. Holy shit, dude, it's been forever. Damn, dude, last time I think I talked to you was like what, almost. Like, what, 10 years ago? I think you said you went into, like, the Army or the Marines or the Navy or something like that, right? Holy shit, bro. How you been? Oh, this is uh, the PS4 version. So what we're doing right now, Matt, is one of my subscribers, Corey Gryffindor, he donated for me to play Remind and the Data Battles. We did the Remind story mode, but we haven't done the Data Battles. So we we uh, maxed out Sword to 99. Now we're getting all the lucky emblems so we can get Oathkeeper. And then from there, we're going to start the Data Battles. Golly, this whole stream has been a nostalgia trip. That's crazy, bro. What the hell? Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Holy, man. Jesus, guys. <laughs> We're all old as fuck, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened to Uber Akari, bro. I haven't seen Uber Akari since, like, 2015, 2016, man. You know, I, I still keep in, like, I don't really, like, keep in touch with a lot of people from there, but I'm still, like, following people from the, the J room. Like, uh, Joe 10, I think, I still follow him on Instagram. King of Lightning, we follow each other on Twitter. Zoro Fanboy. Um, Bankai, I keep up with. Um, yeah, man. I haven't seen Uber Hokari in a while. Come on, fellas. All right, where the fuck... Okay, I gotta get close enough to take that photo, but where? This is just so crazy. Yeah, I remember, yeah, Otaku Assemble. Yeah, bro, yeah, a lot of those people, they, they ain't around. I mean, some of them are still around, but a lot of them ain't around. Let's see. How the fuck? I need to get close enough to this. Hold on. I see your comment, Matt. I'm about to read that shit. Hold up. Alright, I need to get the fucking... Kind of... Okay, I gotta get over there, maybe. If I get over there, I think I can take that photo. Gotta get over there. Hey, the storm is gone. That's okay. See, we've got a better way up now. Uh, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna uh, it's been about 10 years. I've been through a lot, man. Married, divorced, recently ended a four-year relationship on a positive note. I graduated college with honors, went to Harvard, got my MBA, and I got my own house, and I work for the FDIC now. My man, that's fucking amazing. Holy shit. I mean, that's, that's been a lot of stuff in the past 10 years, but you, man, you persevering, bro. You persevering, and that's, and that's what matters, man. No matter what setbacks or obstacles or what have you, bro, you're still doing your thing, man. I know that, shit's, that shit has definitely been tough. You know, marriage, divorce, and getting out of no relationship. But, dude, you powered through that shit. You persevered, my man. Congratulations, and more life to you, my brother. More life to you, bro. I'm happy to hear you're doing well, man. That's crazy. Nine tail Naruto 98. Oh, man. Yo. <laughs> this is so sick, man. Holy shit. Holy shit, bro. No, we really got to get to that fucking emblem. I swear to God. If we get to that emblem, we're done for the night. Like, <laughs> your dog's about to be 11 this year? Dude, my dog is... Well, we've had our dog for 10, 11, 12 years now. Yeah. So he's up there in age, man. It's crazy to think about. Yeah, Nugget, bro. We adopted Nugget uh, at the end of 2011. So that was 10... 11, 
So we had him 10 years, 11 years, 12 years. We've had him 12 years, and we when we rescued him, they uh, they thought he was, I think, like, two years old. So, yeah, he's, like, 14. 14 around there, man. It's insane to think about. It, dude, it's just insane, the passage of time. I say this every single day, but it's true, man. Literally, before you know it, like, Persona 5 turns 8 years old this year, guys. How crazy is that? No, no, no. Sora, what are you doing? No, get the fuck, get the fuck off that ship. Get off the ship, Sora. Cancel. No roller coaster adventures for you, kind sir. All right. Oh, my condolences to you, Reed. Ninety-four, twenty years old. That's that's a lot of good time, man. That's good time. I know you probably gave that guy a good life. Been replaying Kingdom Hearts one and two Final Mix since I fell out of the franchise, and I'm definitely gonna replay Kingdom Hearts three and play Remind. Hey, there you go, Slug. Yeah, man. I mean, if I wasn't doing the data battles, I would replay Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, but here we are. Yeah, man, everything happens for a reason, bro. I do my best to stay positive and learn from my experiences. The good and bad, it hasn't been easy, but I confidently say that I live with no regrets. Dude, th man, that's what it's all about, my brother. That's literally what it's all about. Like, everything in life, whether we like it or not, whether we plan for it or not, it's a learning experience, you know? It's kind of like what Rafiki says. The past can hurt, but we can either run from it or we can learn from it. And provided we learn and we don't make those same mistakes and we just better ourselves, even if it's like 1% better, that's it, man. You can hold your head high. You can sleep easy at night. Dude, it's a great feeling. <laughs> yeah, Corey's like, yeah, you're going to fight and beat them day battles. Yeah, yes, I know. I know, Corey. We are going to get it done. <laughs> Corey, we're doing the work. We're doing the work right here, bro. No excuses. Okay. I'm where the, I gotta. Okay. So I'm looking at this guide and where this person is. There's some pink things. And I'm right here from this safe point. Take the long rail that brings you higher. So it's got to be up here, right? But this is the one that brings us back to the forge, right? Yeah. No, this. Unless this is the one we do. No, I think this is the one. Okay. Oh, you, you fuckers. Oh, my God. I'm going in a vagina. Oh, Jesus. Oof. I'm not used to this, you guys. I've never even held a girl's hand before in my life. So just diving headfirst in the coochie is just very different to me. Oh, Jesus. Dad, when do we get to the ride? This is the ride. I have never been up here. Holy shit. Ha, ha, ha. I really just, like, rushed through this fucking story. Oh, my God. I said, fuck this shit. We getting out of here. I'm the type of person where I was just like, it's go time, nigga. Let's go. Get the fuck out of here. And all these people are like, this motherfucker. Okay, so I think we get on that rail and we're good. I love how Herc is just picking up these damn rocks. Man, this is just throwing it around like, man, you can fuck this shit He's just like, fuck out of here. Whoa. Ah, ah. No, 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 no. Okay, good. I didn't know. <laughs> I did not want to fall down. I'm like, we're so close. We're so close, you guys. Exactly, bro. Good luck with them data battles. I did all three times on crit and with pro codes. A few toughies and Yozara. Forget about it. I almost cried fighting that dude. And it felt so good to win. The way you guys are talking about this Yozara, none of y'all are ever saying it's just like, you know what? I persevered and I got through it. You were just like, this man made me his bitch. I cried. I almost destroyed my PlayStation. And now I'm just like, listen, I'm I, I'm going to die within two seconds. I'm going to set a record. I'm going to set a record. No, I was supposed to go back. Sorry, turn around. <laughs> it's a small world after all. Yo, them data battles are just going to be comedy, bro. The way we going to clip it by the end of the year. Her tossing rocks is always funny to me. It is. Who the fuck hit me? This is just such a slow ride. My God. No, I got to go back on that because I, I didn't need to get on this. Yazora made me want to be a better man. But did he want to make you be a better father? That's the question, Corey. I gotta really pay attention when I'm doing this. It's a small world after all. Type rides. 
It's a small world after all. It really is a small world after all, my friends. But we got this. We're almost done. I ain't a father, so. Well, that you know of. I mean, Cora Griffith, are you... you you walking around with that uh with that varsity jacket. You better be careful. I, Corey, I be seeing you I be seeing you with them white girls, bro. Don't sell yourself short. Don't sell yourself short, man. I know this man Corey. Like, why do you think Corey is a proponent of white claws? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen, I know. I know the game. I know the game. I know damage of Zora on crit with three times damage. Easy code's got the vid uploaded too, but my first winning attempt took me nine hours of grinding. I didn't take a break. This man said he did a shift at work and overtime. Oh, God. All right. Um. Okay. Can I take it from here? What do you mean, no photos? Let's see. Bro. <laughs> I know I'm not going crazy. Where the fuck? I'm so angry right now, you guys. Like, you have no... You have, you guys have no clue. Like, it's right there, but it's not letting me take a photo of it. Go back. Maybe if I take it over here. If it does not let me take it over here, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot something. Yes! Yes! Yes, we did it! Oh my god, these are like the real bosses of the stream. <laughs> Taking fucking Snapchat photos. Now you guys know why I don't really like these. Now you know why I'm on Snapchat like that. Well, Alright, but let's see. Let's uh, let's go to the gummy phone. No. Yes. Alright, here we go, you guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have got every single lucky emblem in... Uh, Olympus Coliseum, and then we have to do the rest. <laughs> we have to do Twilight Town. We got to finish up uh, Toy Bot. Oh, God, I didn't even do anything there. Okay, but at least I've done stuff there. I've done a couple there. Ain't done shit there. I did a lot here, and then nothing here. Nothing there. <laughs> oh, we got a little bit of a ways to go. But we listen, we're going we gonna to get it done, you guys. No doubt. No doubt. And poo. Yes, and we have to we have to go make the letter poo. We got to go make the letter poo. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay, guys, that wraps up tonight's uh, not data battle stream, but the road to the data battle stream. Just think, just think of it. Just, this is the journey. This is the journey to become a better father. And and you guys are getting Kingdom Hearts three content that you never got on the channel. So look look at it like that. Look at it like that, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. No one else is giving you this this type of Kingdom Hearts three content, and, and that that's a fact. But uh, shout out to everybody who pulled up. Shout out to all the super chatters. Shout out to all the mods. Shout out to all the YouTube members. I appreciate you guys. We will be back next Wednesday night, same time, same place for the Road to the Data Battles Lucky Emblems Edition. I'm aiming to try to finish as much as we can next week. It shouldn't be as that bad, so we can just do all that stuff. Um, but yeah, before, before I go, I'm going to make sure I save data. So I don't just, my dumb ass just turns off my PS5 and it's like, nigga, what? So let's, let's first find a save point, chaps. Let's find a save point, chaps. All right. Yeah, you could, I, we can definitely do at least two for each stream, possibly three, depending on how long we go. But yeah, I want to get all that shit over and done with. All right. So we're going to find a save point. God, look at this shit, bro. Look at this shit that I can't even fly all the way towards, but fuck it. Look at this. Sora, where are you diving to, bro? You ain't diving shit. What am I attacking? Go play Persona 5 now. I, I know. Bro, guys, you have no understand. I'm going to go eat dinner, and then I'm going to go back and play Persona 5. Because that's literally all I'm doing, man. I'm on a, I'm on a strict regiment of work, gym, Streaming, sleep, food, and, and some pussy in between. Damn. It's a tough time, man. Where the fuck? Tough time, but we getting it done. Oh, God. Sora. No. not No, no. Goofy Bomba D. Bomba. I'm going to join the Discord so we can catch up, man. I got to go. Yeah, bro. Absolutely. Yo, um, uh, 
Matt, hit me up on Discord. My name is the same thing on there, Neil Game Spark. Shoot me a DM, and we'll exchange uh, like social media contact info because we gotta catch up, bro. It's been so fucking long, man. Like, holy shit, I did not expect. Like, I'm like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck's going on, bro? Yeah, so yeah, definitely do that. I'm, uh, I'm gonna get back to you uh, later, later tonight, tomorrow. But yeah, we need to. Gotta find this fucking safe point. Well, I don't care about these enemies. Only P you need is Persona. Honestly, bro. I mean, that's that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing, bro. Alright, save point. Don't turn off that PS5. Okay. Alright, so. We are officially done with that. Alright. My, my play count number has not updated here. I don't know. Oh, I think it goes based off of... um. The hours you put into the PS5 console. I think that's how that works, right? So if, like, for example, we have 40-something hours there, but this PS5 isn't registering that because it's like, well, nigga, you, you put X amount of hours. I think so. I don't know. It hasn't updated. Regardless of that, um, let's close that game. All right, you guys. Yeah, th he said, this stream tonight has been a chain of memories. Oh, my God. Bars. Bars, motherfucking bars. This stream has been a chain of memories. It really has. Holy shit. Is every single one of these streams gonna have a Kingdom Hearts code name? Like, is there gonna be coded at one point? Are our dreams gonna be dropping from a distance? Is someone gonna be born in their sleep? Who the fuck knows? But either way, until we figure that out, you guys, for me to you for now, my name is NGS signing out, and like always, I will catch you guys later. Peace out, y'all. Have a good one.